Hello there lovely people, good morning from Thaka Bangladesh. Today I am back with another fragrance review, but uh, with this setup, I'm sorry about that. I'm not feeling all that well, energetic. Uh, last three days or so, a <clears throat> little bit unwell. So you can tell from my voice, it's not back 100%, but hopefully you can hear me. Uh, so I decided to do this review, sort of an like impression. Uh, finally, I got my hands on this uh, very rare gem called Perioelis Oud uh, Black Vanilla Absolute. This beautiful perfume, I'll review this today, sort of like an impression. And I'll re-review this after a few months of wearing. That's what I do usually. Uh, this fragrance I've been looking for since its release, okay? 2015 it was released. And there are like three in this line. One is a saffron. Other one is called vetiver. Uh, but uh, my eyes were always on this one particularly because I heard so many good things about it. So first thing I'll tell you, this is special because of that. I finally found this rare gem. And I got it from one of our top uh, pages in Bangladesh fragrance video. I'll leave a link below if you're looking forward. To get this, you can get from them in Bangladesh, even internal shipping they can do. So thank you so much, uh, Shubha Bhai and uh, Pawabantho Bhai. And also sending me a lot of samples uh, for, uh, you know, as a like a free gift. I'm really, really grateful. So this one comes in only one bottle size, that is 100 ml. And I think this is EDP concentration marketed towards both unisex, like both genders, unisex purpose. Male and female can wear it alike. And this is their wood line. Uh, Perialis I have reviewed. A few fragrances, the red, uh, man, and then there's like a blue. I reviewed quite a few. I'll leave a link below. You can check out my Perialis fragrance reviews. But this one is a different line. Like Davidoff, I'll tell you, this reminds, this bottle also reminds me of Davidoff, uh, one particular bottle. That is the blend line, Agar blend. This, like, if you put them side by side, their themes kind of same. So basically, I find a lot of inspiration between the two bottles. But Davidoff, it's uh, somewhere like this line is their niche line. So... Another reason is this is a clone of Speed 2 Dubuveni. Uh, I, I don't know how to say it properly. It's like it says double vanille, but it's a Dubuveni. I, I, French, I, I, I really want to learn. Okay. So that's that uh, fragrance, very uh, expensive niche line of Guerlain, uh, very uh, rare also. And that, that one has that boozy uh, vanilla sort of a uh, play. Okay. So this one supposedly captured it very well, and for the price, it was very good. So let me tackle the price a little bit. When it came out first, it was uh, retailing for $120 around there. Okay. Then when you hit the discounters, it was like $45 you could find it. And like 2015, 16 that time. But after that, uh, it disappeared from the market and people were selling it as much as $150, you know, like in the gray market. And many people are buying it, but some people said this is not worth that money. So we'll tackle that. One last comment before I start the review. Uh, I saw in Fragrantica, one guy wrote, I, I scored this bottle in uh, like one of this local drug store or somewhere for $14. Don't be confused by these comments, guys. You know, these are the people who are either lucky or they are, I don't know. I don't want to judge because I don't know them, but uh, do not keep your expectations so high up that you can score a very rare to find fragrance, you know, that for $14 everywhere. If it was the case, everybody would have a bottle, right? So, a real expectation if you can find it within let's say 50 60 dollars it's a very good bargain so let's start i have two other fragrances that are also recent times i compared them i'll compare them with this one also that was like a eau de missons cologne i reviewed it a few days back and also mercedes-benz club black these two are also the clone of uh sort of like uh from guerlain's uh the speed to the bovini so here's the box i really like this presentation a lot except one thing i'll tell you this one looks amazing. I love the golden and black presentation. Uh, this one has really nice design. It feels like a niche uh, presentation, to be honest, okay? And uh, Perialis, I think, as far as I know, is uh, made in USA, okay? Like American uh, company. Bottom looks like that. And the name up there, nothing much happening there. So this is a very nice box. And the bottle, here's the problem with the bottle I am telling you. Uh, hi, I'm there. I'm <laughs> not feeling well. So this one. The bottle is very beautiful, but they made like a production, uh, I think perhaps um, like a fault or something. The plate they put, if you can pick it up, they put it a little bit slanted. It's not like it's supposed to be straight. It's a little bit slanted. So it's like a production uh, failure or something or a uh, fault. So this was the only thing that bothers me. But yeah, if you hold it straight, it looks a little bit slanted. It's a little bit bad for my OCD. <laughs> Apart from that, the bottle is very gorgeous. It has this ambery color bottle, ambery dark. Uh, really nice uh, golden color this one looks really really good up top really nice it looks like they kind of screwed it down but it's just basically i think glued okay so nice little cap bottom is your sticker so the cap when you open it it's kind of snug fit 
uh, you can pick it up no problem the cap doesn't have so much weight but for a plastic and chrome design i mean it's it's okay i think this one is metal and then plastic it has good uh, fair weight to it but not the heaviest cap uh, sprayer atomizer looks like that i have it on my hand already let's spray this and talk about it uh, going double shot uh, this fragrance is basically supposed to be winter wear okay uh, the reason being this fragrance in nature, you know, like the dark oud, when you hear the name oud. First of all, um, I did not get much oud from this. Uh, that's one thing. I got mostly fruity, sweet, a uh, little bit boozy and uh, kind of vanilla play. Okay. This is what this fragrance is all about and it's very comforting. Uh, I think you can wear this fragrance mild cold weathers. Uh, you can wear it in winters, dead winters. I'm not sure like if it's snowing, it would be a good idea. Because this fragrance wear, it's like somewhere between uh, higher average to uh, like lower uh, beast mode kind of. It's like 8 out of 10, you know, longevity and projection for me. Longevity is solid 8 out of 10, okay. I wear it, it definitely lasts long uh, on my skin. But the presence for the first two hours, it's really the most uh, prominent for this sense life so overall i get about six to seven hours in the winter so basically for me the price wise this is very good but some people may like expect like 10 12 15 hours mark didn't happen with me uh, but for that you can go like double double shots right so it's a higher uh, like eight out of ten okay on an average uh, winter time cold weathers anybody can wear it uh, then the projection and siage for me projection is very good for the first one hour uh, it does project but in nature this fragrance never really choke you like bentley for many intense or leather blend or black orchid like fragrances they really are out there you know they're like interlude man they're really out there this fragrance is not out there it feels cozy it feels strong presence within your uh like you know six feet that sort of a uh, area people can definitely smell you but it will not choke them so you can wear this at your workplace in the winter time let's say you're working in london i keep giving because that's my uh, dream city to live in uh, if you're working there if you can wear Burberry's London this one I like you know you can wear this nobody will be offended and it actually pretty much it has this beautiful aura about it, you know when I smell it, it the sweetness is just so nice so uh, compared to the other two here's the comparison okay compared to the other two the Mercedes-Benz uh, black club black and then the Eau de Missons Cologne these two are relatively uh, like more powerful like more sweeter uh, definitely the Mercedes-Benz lasts longer uh, out of these two but guess what the Perialis would outperform these two in terms of longevity but projection wise Mercedes-Benz Club Black it's a little bit better projecting and Ode Missons Cologne is good so all three are very nice but these two are more sweeter variant of that Spiritus de Bouvigny so you can get those two if you want a little bit more performance or a little bit more oomph this one it's a longevity is solid but projection it's uh, on the I would say not moderate but average above average side okay so that makes it good for some people who don't like to wear super loud fragrances good for them if you want a really like beast mode like ultra beast mode like something like Kalan by Parfum de Marly uh, you won't get it from this okay so that's the fair warning uh, is it worth hunting it down I would say definitely definitely because this perfume is super beautiful I really like the dry down of it the dry down it's really nice it has a kind of like to my nose it has uh, those Christmassy, uh, like you make that, those drinks, uh, it's a little bit boozy, but it has a chocolatey vibe as well. So I like that. So perhaps that oud is in form of chocolate to my nose, okay? So it's kind of fresher, boozy, uh, very interesting, very beautiful perfume. If you do not uh, put this fragrance on the pedestal or something, this will really entertain you. But is it worth over the $100 mark? Uh, depends, okay? I'll still say, you know, usually I don't say like buy a fragrance that is, you know, over $100 hyped. This fragrance actually, if it becomes super rare, you know, like super rare, super discontinued and people asking for $110, should you be doing it? If you have the money for it, if you love this fragrance, I would say yes, yes, okay? Because the fragrance really meets your craving and perialis for their house, this quality is impeccable and the reviewers are not wrong and the hype was not wrong. Some people may say this is overhyped. I don't feel, with my humble opinion, no. I feel this fragrance is rightly, it deserves its glory. Uh, just that it's a bit rare to find you need to put a little bit more if you want to enjoy it in the uh, fullest form like six seven sprays that would be perfect but uh, around your neck area go less because this can still choke you right so in the end it's boozy uh, very sweet 
kind of fruity. I don't know what fruit. Maybe something the likes of raspberry or something berry like. I like the the vibe of it. It's very candied. You know, like those uh, caramel filled uh, chocolates. You know, like dark, sweet. Uh, it it reminds me sometimes of Tuscan leathers raspberry a little bit, but uh, it's just my imagination perhaps. But if you do like caramel base, uh, like thick sweet chocolates you like something sensual it's very sensual very beautiful and i'm very happy i got this thank you so much fragrance bd for sending me this uh very quickly i saw it and i ordered it immediately right so lucky me this fragrance for me what this one offers it's a perfection 10 if you can find this perfume somewhere this one is better than the eau de maisons cologne and mercedes-benz club black in many ways uh, you can definitely give it a try and get a sample you, it, you you'll see what i mean okay amazing fragrance amazing fragrance beautiful uh presentation top not just that the <laughs> this thing the plate a little bit ruined it for me i don't want to take it out then i it will be like uglier but 10 out of 10 for perilous wood black veil so thank you very much for watching time to move on to the list we're going to be doing a list for winter take care bye bye